guys, this is Leah with Scott Leroy Marketing, and I am going to show you a dot loop tip today on how to email into your dot loop account. So there are two main ways that you can email directly into your dot loop account. You can email directly into a loop, and you can also email directly into the template section of your dot loop account, which is on that top right of your screen there with the two sheets of paper. So first, let's go ahead and actually start there. So let's go ahead and click on the icon that looks like two sheets of paper on the very top right of your dot loop account. And that'll be your template section. All right, so we're clicking on templates on the very top right of your screen. Again, if you hover your mouse over it, it'll pop up telling you that's the templates. And you'll notice at the very top of your screen here, it gives you a dot loop email address. So in this case, it might be like your first name, dot last name at upload.dotloop.com. Now this is a great email address to go ahead and copy and save into your email. Okay. So what this does, if I were to email to that email address directly, I'm gonna go ahead and open up my email account. Okay, let's say I am on the go and I receive an offer to purchase from an agent, and I wanna quickly just go ahead and forward that document right into my dot loop account, so I can easily put that into my loop at a later time. And what you would do is you would open up the, uh, the email that has the attached offer to purchase, let's say, and it would need to be an offer, I'm sorry, it would need to be a PDF for this to work, okay? Only PDFs are able to be entered into dot loop. So once I, I find the email with that PDF attachment, I can go to forward that email. Now if you're using your KW Gmail email address, you would do that by clicking the drop down arrow on the top right and go to forward. Okay, so that's for all Gmail accounts. It should be pretty similar depending on what email system you're using. But I'm going to forward this email here with the attached offer to purchase. And I'm going to right click to paste in that email address that I just got. And then I'm going to click send. All right, so when I send that, okay, first of all, you'll notice that it has some verbiage in the email, but that's okay, don't worry about that. Dot loop will ignore any verbiage in the email. And now if we come back to our dot loop account, so I have that open in a new tab here, okay, where you're going to find that document is in the inbox, okay? So you'll notice uh, in this template section, again, we grabbed our email address here, and we have this inbox option on the left-hand side, okay? And there we go at the top of my inbox. That has come in, the emailed offer to purchase that I just emailed in. You'll see it was updated February 22nd, 2018, so that would be today. All right, so that is how you can email straight into dot loop, okay, into your inbox here. Now, why that's beneficial, if I now go into a loop, so I'm going to click on this loops icon on the top black toolbar. It kind of looks like a smiley face with no eyes. And this top black toolbar, I can go into any loop now. Okay, so if you have a loop created, you can click into that loop. I can now click this first option under folder. Okay, if you're not seeing these three blue boxes here, you would simply have to click add document on the far right side here to view that. So I can go ahead and click on templates on the left hand side. All right, I'll then see the option to click inbox right here. Just a quick note, you will not see inbox until you've actually sent something in. Okay, so if you're not seeing that, don't be alarmed. It just means you haven't emailed anything there yet. So once I click inbox on the left-hand side, I see that emailed offer to purchase. All right, when it was updated, so today's date, so I can simply click on that checkbox and pull it right into my loop. All right, and then I can click OK. All right, so that is one method to emailing into your dot loop account. Okay, that emails it directly into the template section. Okay, a good time to use that is if you're on the go because that email address always stays the same. Let's look at one other method. Okay, this one's pretty cool. So if you're in your loop here, let's go ahead and click add folder on the far right, just so I can have a new folder to email this into. 
Okay, when you click add folder, it will allow you to edit that folder name. So I can name this sales folder, let's say, since this is a, an offer I'm emailing in. So now I have these three options here. I have the option to import it via the templates. I can browse for it on my computer. Or this third option here is emailing it straight into the loop. So it says attach the files you need to an email and send them directly into this folder. Pretty cool. So let's go ahead and click this third box over that says email. All right, and when I do, it will generate this super long email address that is specific to this folder in this loop. So I'm going to go ahead and click copy to clipboard right here. All right, once I do, and I'll turn green and said the email is copied to clipboard. Okay, so I now have this crazy long email address copied. So I can go into my email now. Okay, I can find that offer to purchase. Okay, or whatever form, let's say an agent on the other side has emailed you a document, a PDF that you need to add to that loop in that folder. So it's gonna be the same general process that we just did. We are going to come up to forward this email. So again, if you're in Gmail, you click that drop down dot in the far right and click forward. And in this to field, I'm going to right click and paste that in. Okay, and it will paste in that crazy long email address that is specific to that folder in that loop. And I'm gonna go ahead and click send. And again, dot loop is going to ignore all this verbiage and just email in this attachment, okay? As long as it's a PDF. So I click send, all right? Tells me my message has been sent. So I'm gonna go back to my loop, okay? So it won't just appear here, guys. You do need to refresh your page, all right? So it takes about 20, 30 seconds, I'd say. <clears throat> Not very long at all for that to come in. So to refresh your page, you just simply click on the arrow in a circle on the very top left of your browser, okay, next to the back, back button. Okay, you'll always need to refresh your page to see changes anywhere, so I'm gonna go ahead and refresh. And when I do, it now has that second emailed offer to purchase now in that sales folder. Okay, so that is the time you would use that method is if you're sitting at your computer and you just need to quickly get an, an email attachment from your email address to your dot loop account. Okay, instead of having to download the document and come to upload it here, you can simply forward that email to that crazy long email address that we found in this email box right here. All right guys, so those are the two main ways that you can email documents straight into Dotloop. They're very cool and make your Dotloop experience a little more efficient. If you have any questions on this, feel free to email support at scottleroymarketing.com. But that is your Dotloop tip of the day.